Hi, you guys. Welcome back to First Impressions. It's been a minute since I've done one of these, so I'm happy to be back. Today, we're going to be looking at the Butterick Winter Collection. Um, if you're new here, this is the series where I take a look at every single pattern in a collection and I kind of go through it as if we were sitting in a Joanne flipping through the pattern books together. Um, so it's usually a good fun time to just chat and gab about sewing. Okay, first up, we're going to start with this Mrs. Jacket and Coat. We've got sizes 8 to 16 and then 8 to 16 and then 14 to 22. Is this true? We're starting to overlap two sizes again because if that's the case, I'm very happy. I hope that this isn't a mistake. Um, I love when they used to do this. So um, it's described as a lined, very loose fitting, double breasted jacket and coat, have long raglan sleeves with bias cuffs, uh, front wall pockets, notch collar, <clears throat> top stitching and length variations. View B has a back vent. Okay, yeah, so just your kind of quintessential, simple little notched collar coat. Uh, the one that thing that makes this one different is that it's a bit oversized, and it has a raglan sleeve, which is something that's very interesting. I love that they were thoughtful with the plaid and put the cuff on the bias so that, you know, it looks a little bit different. Um, they did a really great job matching their plaids, and they even use little covered buttons, which is such a fun, cute little detail. This one ends at high hip, which is actually a really good modern length. I'm glad that they're doing that more than they're doing low hip. I just feel like this is more flattering on more people. But then you also have your long version and your vertical welt pockets. Super cute, super comfy. I um, don't have a need for a coat or a jacket. A, I have plenty of them. B, I just never really wear them that much. But if you're in the type of climate, this seems like a really cute one. Fabrics are denim, gabardine, um, which is like you probably most see, mostly see it like with suiting, um, medium weight wool blends, and synthetic leather. Um, it is also lined. I'll find out how much here in a second. You need five buttons and five buttons yeah and then if you're gonna do if you're gonna cover them then you need your button cover kit all right so now that i think about it though look at this so if we're doing 8 to 16 and then 14 to 22 now we're missing sizes 4 and 6 and we're also missing 24. so it's actually fewer sizes. Oh, I'm torn on that because I do like when two sizes overlap, but I do not like having only eight sizes just in general. That's not inclusive enough to me. So, oh, it's kind of like the, what is it? The lesser of two evils kind of thing. I wish we could have it all, but I think Big Five proves over and over again that we cannot. <laughs> um, Okay, so finished garment measurements. We're going to look at these and compare them to the body measurements to get a feel for ease. Now, remember, this is a very oversized jacket, okay? It's it's roomy. It's very roomy. Um, so that should be reflected in the ease. Uh, let's see how roomy they made it. <laughs> um, we have 12 and a half inches of ease in the bust. Super roomy. Super roomy. Um, we have... How much in the waist? <laughs> 20 in the waist and then 10 and a half in the hips. So, and they're going up by one inch increments roughly, maybe one and a half. Uh, no, it jumps to one and a half only between sizes 10 and 12. And then it's one inch increments again. So even though it's not super size inclusive, you could technically include sizes six and four um, just by sizing down and not having as much ease. Um, and also if your body measurements put you in a size 24 or 26, you could size down to a 22. So I don't know, the ease kind of gives us a little bit of wiggle room there, but it's very roomy. So definitely, definitely consider sizing down. One thing I wanted to point out, why is this so long? 
this is like going almost to her waistline and I don't think that's what it is on the line drawings well it does look kind of long um yeah I guess that's intentional that just feels like if she went to raise her arm let me get this picture if she went to raise her arm the whole jacket's coming with her um so I don't know about that that's definitely something I would look into if I were going to make this pattern um otherwise you can only really bend your arm at the elbows we don't want that it's just a really long raglan sleeve like a really long connection point and a really low arm size so if you were going to fix this you would just raise the arm side up or sorry raise the side seam up to wherever you want and then adjust the length of the raglan sleeves accordingly so yeah okay there's i just wanted to point that out because i noticed it okay next up we have a jacket skirt and pants i love butterick mostly for these sort of whole outfits i mean this is capsule wardrobe in a pattern um semi-fitted lined jacket has notch collar shoulder pads princess seams and two uh, sorry long two-piece sleeves wow that's a great detail um, with a working vent, unlined flared skirt, has gores, love a gored skirt, and invisible side zipper. Full length plants have front pleats, side seam pockets, front fly zipper, and waistband with belt loops and hook and bar closures. So it sounds like a great collection of just like these basics, which is really fun. So you get the jacket, which has princess seams, and then also maybe darts. I'll have to look at the line. Yeah, no, there's definitely a dart there too. Single button ends at the waist. That's super, super cute. I love that sort of silhouette. I love the um, proportions. Really good. And then you have your gourd skirt. Um, did it say it was six panels? That's usually what it is. And it falls just below me knee length. Really great with these like close fitting, tight fitting boots. And then you have your just like traditional trouser, right? It's got a pleat. It's got belt look carriers. It's got a zip fly. Just, you know, really great basics. But the jacket is kind of what's more modern about it. The jacket's really great for a Butterick pattern, if I'm being completely honest. Let's look at these line drawings. Yeah, so there's a... There's a dart here, I'm sorry, a princess seam here, a dart here, two piece sleeves. Then in the back, you still have your darts as well, but the back is cut on the center fold. That's really nice. And then it is a six gore skirt, so six panels. And then your front pants have the pleat and your back pants have the long uh, darts. But yeah, I mean, you can't knock a basic, right? <clears throat> fabric wise they are suggesting gabardine linen blends wool blends and wool suiting obviously you can expand on that if it, you're sewing it up for different seasons i mean those pants can be made out of like a gajillion different fabrics the skirt even more fabrics than the pants um so don't be um just uh pigeonholed by these few that they've listed here you can really go for anything that is kind of like a mid-weight woven or stable knit you do need quite a few notions. So shoulder pads, a button, more buttons, an invisible zipper and hook and eye for the skirt, a zipper and two hook and bars and a button for the pants. Sizing wise, we're not gonna get finished garment measurements on this one. So you'll have to look um, at, you have to like physically get the pattern and look at that there. But design wise, I, I kind of like it. It's simple, it's basic as I mentioned, but I don't know it's kind of cute i feel like you could wear each of those things a million different ways okay we have the <laughs> the mrs dress to end all mrs dresses right like we've seen this a million and one times this is a million and two times it's an off the shoulder dress slim or full skirt lining invisible back zipper view a has a back slit view b has a flared skirt with gores again um sizing wise 8 to 16 and 18 to 26 so um more on their larger sizes and eliminating sizes four and six but they release one of these it's got to be every five years right some variation of a fit and flare and then they usually include a pencil skirt with it i bought these up like 
There was no tomorrow when I first started sewing. I loved these. This one with the little off the shoulder bit is is cute, right? It's it's it kind of um puts it in a very specific category. Like you might not wear this to every office or any office. It kind of makes it more like of a date night or a girls night or something less professional where if you had a traditional bodice, um you could wear it more places. That said though, there is a waist seam so you can swap out this bodice for literally any bodice in your stash that also has a waist seam. Fit wise, it looks really good on her. Do we get any other poses? Probably not. Nope. Oh, we do get to the back though. Okay. My only, com oops, whoa, what happened? Sorry. Let's try that again. The back, okay. My, okay, so the hip, I'm sorry, the, the waist seam is hitting where it should hit. That's great. Beautiful darts, beautiful zip, zipper insertion. My only thing is this feels really high. Like, this is her crotch line. That's only a few inches away. What happens when you sit down? I might want to close that up by, I don't know, three or four inches or something. Um, but that's all I see. Really beautifully made really beautifully made and it looks like this is like a separate little band so you could probably even leave that off and get more of a I mean less of a sleeve I guess I don't know I think it's really really beautiful I don't wear stuff like this anymore but if you're I don't know like mother of the bride or heck even like a bride if you made it in like a pretty white or ivory um it could be for holiday you could you could wear that to a party in the right fabric they're recommending crepe linen blends. Medium weight wovens is the main takeaway here. Medium weight wovens. Um, Shantung is kind of like a little bit more of a specialty, like holiday shiny-ish fabric. Um, and all you need is one zipper. So you can spend a little bit more money on your fabric because we don't have a lot in notions. And finished garment wise, we have, this is where Butterick fails every time. The ease is always way too much. So we have four and a half inches in the bust. No, we don't. There's no way she's got four and a half inches in there. She maybe has one, one and a half. And in fact, I might even recommend a stretch woven and give yourself one inch of ease. You know what I mean? Um, what else? The waist has one inch of ease. Okay, that's appropriate. And then the hip has three inches of ease, also appropriate. But that bodice ease, that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, so just keep that in mind, obviously. And yeah, is that it? Do we get everything on this guy? Yeah, it's good. If you um, need, if you're in the need, in the market for a dress like that, that seems to be a really good one. Okay, we have the family outfit. Thankfully, they're looking less clan like than in past in past years. I don't know, maybe I haven't gotten to the Christmas pajamas yet where they literally look like they're like too perfect. You know what I mean? They look like there's definitely something creepy going on behind the scenes. But this is very normal family. Um, it is a girls, boys, and adult jacket. Kind of like a shacket for the whole family. Button front family size jackets have pointed collar, long sleeves, flat, flat patch pockets, and front and back yoke. View B has a contrast yoke, collar, and pockets. Yeah. Simple, cute, straightforward. Great little pattern for the entire family. Great unisex pattern. To me, whenever they're doing unisex and it involves pants, that, I don't know, that doesn't translate to me, but something like this absolutely does you and look at all the different variations that you can make here's mom and dad brother sister same photo same photo here's the back it does have a yoke a drop shoulder contrast for dad that's actually really nice I don't know if that's like a pleather and a corduroy or something but that's that looks really manly rugged corduroy denim poplin twill yeah but you could also i mean you could definitely also make this in like the furry fuzzy fabrics um just look up like flannel you could look up shacket and you, there's a ton 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 of different fabrics that you can use 
And then we have the girl boy sizes and the adult sizes. They are all alphanumeric. Um, now I wonder if you are a adult whose bust is smaller than 30 inches. Oh, but look, the chest of the large child's is bigger than the extra small of the adults. Interesting. It only goes up to 48 inches though in the bust or chest and 49 in the hip. So I don't know about a lot of dudes who I don't, I should find out what Dan's chest measurement is just as a point of reference. I mean, he's not a big guy, but I just would like to know which category would he be in? Because if he's like in a large, then I know a lot of guys aren't going to be able to fit in, you know, just one size bigger than him. Um, finished measurement wise, we do get chest measurements. So it looks to me like there are 10 ish inches of ease. That's, that's on the high end of okay. I'd like to see it closer to eight, maybe even six, if you like things that are more closely fitted. But yeah, cute little family. Um, it's also great patterns to buy for the holidays if you have like cousins and nieces and nephews and aunts and uncles and like a whole bunch of different kind of people to buy for. That is also a great pattern for that. Okay, we have a knit top skirt and pant combo. This one they have um, created a five item, no, three items, five outfits, five combinations. Sizing is alphanumeric, extra small to 2X. Loose fitting top view A, which is this little overlay thing, has crisscross front, high low hem, and collar band. Close fitting pull over top B, this little one under here, has long set in sleeves and bust darts, and then a pull on skirt and pants with elastic waist. Okay, we're back to the kind of like the throwaway pant as I call it when they just, okay, we'll just throw in these elastic pants and skirts. But look at all these cute outfits you can make. Um, the, again, similar to the other one, the turtleneck, the pants and the skirt are just basics you probably already have. This seems to be the thing that they're kind of hanging their hat on. I could do without it. I don't love it. Um, uh, maybe it's better when it's kind of, you know, bookended with the pants, but otherwise it just feels kind of frumpy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan. I guess it's comfortable, but... I, I don't, I don't know. It's just not, it's not me. I, and, and although I try and keep an open mind as to what would be good for you, I don't know that you guys should be wearing this either. <laughs> but everything else I really love. The turtleneck is great. The skirt is great. The pants are okay. They are kind of like fitted. This feels like a knit to me. Um, so I'm guessing it's a whole knit outfit, which, hello, comfortable. But yeah, that, that shrug thing, I don't know. All right, are we still, oh, there's the back of it. That not doing it any favors either. Yeah, it just, maybe it's too big. I don't know. I'm not loving it. Okay, it is, let's see. Moderate stretch knits, 35% cross grain stretch. Thank you so much. I will complain, 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 complain. But when I see them starting to make the changes that I've been complaining about, I will also call that out. So thank you so much for including the stretch percentage in the words, not just refer to that little chart thing that they have because you don't have those things on the internet. So thank you for giving us this. Um, such as cotton knits, interlock, jersey, wool knits. Yeah, that's really about it. That kind of covers a lot of knits though. The only thing they left out was Ponty. That probably doesn't have enough stretch in it. So yeah, pay attention to the great, the stretch more than anything else. Okay, so finished garment measurement wise, we should be experiencing some negative ease. A is not going to be negative ease because it's loose fitting, but it is 11 inches of ease. That's still way, way, way too much. Um, the bust of the turtleneck should be very close fitted. And it is. It has, what is that? One and a half, wait, half an inch 
at two, one and a half inches, depending on this range here. That feels good for a turtleneck. If you end up with something that's like a rib knit and it's super stretchy, you could definitely go zero or negative one inches also. Um, and then the hip of the skirt, it's negligible because it's so loose fitting, but the hip of the pant has, again, uh, wait, two inches, one and a half to two inches. So that is a close fitting knit pant for sure. But yeah, if you need those basics, I would probably still grab this, but I don't know that I can see anybody pulling this off and making it look cute. I Listen, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. I want to see your outfit and make that thing look cute. Okay, we've got a Mrs. Jacket. Very loose fitting, lined bomber jacket with collar variations, have drop shoulders, front zipper closure, welt pockets with flaps, and long two-piece sleeves with button cuffs. Okay, I I will die <laughs> before I find. I'm looking for and have been for years a button front bomber jacket with a set-in sleeve. I've seen lots of button front bomber jackets with raglan sleeves, lots of set-in sleeve jackets with zippers. But I, I, it's like the unicorn of bomber jackets. I didn't realize that was going to be so hard to find when I set out to making this project. But that's what I'm looking for. This does not fit the bill, however. Um, but it is just your kind of... Well, you know what? It's different because it doesn't have this bottom band. So it's a little bit more... I don't know if I'd call that modern. It's a little bit more matronly, I think. A little less, yeah, for the kids. A really high um, band here. Oh, this is also not rib knit. This is a function. So it's kind of like a shacker, shacket bomber. Shamer? Back it? Oh, boy. Do you see what I mean? It's like bomber here, but then from there down, it's a shacket-ish without all the pockets. Bomber pockets. Really strange. Um, denim, oh, and fully, fully woven fabrics. Denim, gabardine, medium weight wool blends, and synthetic suede. Looking at this line drawing, I think I could see it in, in suede or corduroy for sure. I don't know about wool or gabardine, though. That feels not right. You need a separating zipper and then two buttons and then your rib knit trim. B doesn't even have rib knit trim. B has a, a regular collar. So that's just, I don't know. I think, I feel like calling that a bomber jacket is a little misleading. Um, fit wise, we have 10 inches of ease in the bust. Again, that's like on the high end of good. I'd like to see it more around eight or even six if you'd like something a little bit more close fitted. Hip wise, they don't give us the hip, okay. The hip matters. I mean, this is a square, so I guess you could assume, well, is it a square? I think it's a square. So you could assume that, yeah, because bust is 40 and a half, waist is 40 and a half, so hip is gonna be 40 and a half as well, and that's eight inches of ease in the in the hip. So if that gives you any indication of how big it's gonna be in the bust. Do you know what I mean? All right. Next, we have a tunic and pants. What would Butterick be without a tunic? Um, 8 to 16, 18 to 26 on the size range here. Asymmetric front tunics have round neck, invisible back zipper, and tapered or long tulip sleeves. Tapered pants have grow grain waist facings. I actually really like that, that detail. And invisible side zipper with hook and eye closure. So they're not the throwaway elastic pants. They're real pants with like a real, you know, um, uh, construction at the waistband. But all of your darts go up into the shoulder. Then this is the tulip sleeve, obviously. Can we talk about hemming this beast of a sleeve? Yikes, especially in whatever like satin this is. I don't know. Um, I also wanna see it with her hand down. Are we gonna get that? I wanna see it because I wanna see what happens here. 
it just feels like all, like all of this right through here feels very tight. You know, like the most tension is being put on these seams right here and this one too. So with her hand down and her hair out of the way, that's what I was looking for, but wishful thinking. We don't even get to see the back. Um, do we get a close up of anything? What's the closest we get? This. So baby hems throughout. No bueno. I ain't got time for that. Crepe de Chine, four ply crepe, jacquard, and matte jersey. Maybe at least with the matte jersey, you can just leave it unhemmed. I don't know. That is not for the faint of heart. Like, do not take on this project unless you've got a ton of patience and time. Um, invisible zipper, invisible zipper, hook and eye, and then grow a green ribbon. Finish measurements. So it did look like this one was going to be pretty loose fitting, but we've only got five inches in the bust. So that's, that's good, I think. Two inches in the waist. And then the hip for the pants, four inches. That almost feels like they just got that from another pattern. I don't know. Well, yeah, they're kind of a little bit loose. This under here, there must be like a shell under here that's way more fitted than these overlays. Oh, but look at that. Oh, hold on. Let me... This. This is not a pleat. That's just happening. So, again, drag lines pointing up to here. Something feels... It feels like, yeah, this whole shoulder seam needs to come out. Normally, I'm a big fan, a big proponent of... Um, the shoulder seams being shorter. They're usually way too long. This one's too short. The sleeve cap here should be way out here. And I don't think it's because it's being pulled this way. I just think even with her arm going up, if she put her arm down, I still don't know that it would be in the right place. So check shoulder length if you do attempt making this guy. So yeah, and then the pants, you can't see, but Basically, you use the grow grain ribbon as a facing. It's really pretty on the inside. It's kind of really easy to execute and gives you like a good, like think of um, Audrey Hepburn, whenever you think of um, grow grain ribbon facings. Not that I've ever seen the inside of her pants or anything, but she has the clean line, no waistband, no elastic um, type of pencil pant. Okay, so Mrs. and Miss Petite button front dress with sleeve variations. Unlined fit and flare dresses have princess seams, decorative front flaps, and front button closure. View A has long sleeves with elbow darts. That's nice. View B has short sleeves with cuff detail. Fit for petite. So we do have the smaller sizes here, 4 to 12, and then 14 to 22. And correct me, petite people, if I'm wrong. I know petite usually refers to length, but in sewing patterns, does it refer to length? Like, is everything shorter or is it just smaller around? Y'all have to let me know. I've never actually sewn up a petite pattern. But we've got the uh, shoulder to hem princess seam, button front, these like side welt pockets. It's it's very 40s, right? 40s? Is that what era that is? Um, definitely like referring back retro vibes. Fit wise... I don't know if this girl's petite or not, but it does fit her well. These could be the, the, this would be the center, like the, what am I trying to say? On the seam line, this is like the curb, this is the outermost part of this one and the innermost part of this one. That could be a little bit higher. That point um, could be maybe a little bit higher yeah and then i think either some shoulder issues or arm side issues i'm sorry yeah arm side um height issues or could be what is causing this i don't think it's too tight on her bicep but something's definitely causing it to pull and wrinkle there um crepe gabardine medium weight wovens again sateen and wool blends yeah for sure but then of course when you go into spring and stuff feel free to consider like you know, chambray and um, like some eyelets and seersucker and all that kind of stuff. We have 10 buttons, 
12 buttons depending on the length that you make. There's the sizing again. And we have two inches in the bust of ease. We have three inches in the waist and a bunch in the hip. All of that sounds perfectly reasonable to me. Great little kind of throwback retro vibe for all the petite girlies out there. Next up, a button down. Again, what is Butterick without a button down? So semi-fitted button front shirts, a pointed collar, neckband, set in sleeves with button cuffs, and placket opening, edge stitching, and shaped hem. View A has contrast. View B, the front is cut on the bias. So that might be the only difference between the other button front patterns you have and then this one. But guess what? You could always just rotate the one you have and now all of a sudden magically you have the front being cut on the bias. So not revolutionary here in terms of design, like at all. Um, it's long, which I guess is nice if you're going to tuck it in. It's almost tunic length. Um, we do have darts here. They feel a little, like I feel like this is her bust apex. So they feel a little bit long and high. Um, and then because it's so fitted on her hips is what is causing this drag line here. So there's probably not enough ease in the hip. In the actual, like for her, it's her high hip. On her low hip, it's fine. It's right through here that it feels a little bit tight. If they show us the back, yeah. See how this is happening? That's also because there's not enough room to go up and over her butt. So she needs either a full seat adjustment which seems really weird to do on a shirt or for these seems to be let out a little bit it's probably the easier way to do it um cotton shirting linen poplin sateen shirt. you guys know what to make button downs out of this one it says that the hip measurement is supposed to have six inches of ease it definitely definitely does not um it's supposed to have 12 in the waist and then my gosh eight in the bust no, it doesn't have all of that. I don't know what, I don't know what's happening over there, but I mean, I guess trust those, but that's not the shirt she's wearing. Um, that feels like an oversized button down. This one is way more fitted than what those numbers are indicating. Interesting. Tissue fit for sure. All right, now we have... This button front shirt with a twist, literally, uh, front and front button down shirts with sleeve variations have spread collar, drop shoulders, back yoke with box pleat. View A is cropped with short sleeves. View B has front self tie, high low hem, and long sleeves with button cuffs. So this one again is a bit of a throwaway. Um, it's just a cropped kind of boyfriend fit oversized fit button down okay we've seen those this one the self tie is interesting and I will say it looks cleaner than when you just grab your shirt tails yourself and tie it up it does look a little bit more purposeful than that so that I do like um I just don't know if the top of this and the bottom of this belong together. They feel like two different people to me. Um, do you know, do you get what I'm saying? I don't, oh, no, we're not wearing it with leggings, are we? Gosh. Um, I don't hate it. It's just kind of, maybe, honestly, honestly, if this were not so fitted on her hip. Like if all of this were a little bit looser. So maybe if they didn't tie it as tight, I would get it more. But do you see how hers just falls right over her bum, unlike the other girls? So um, check for that when you're fitting your pants. But yeah, maybe even just a little bit more ease through here would make me feel like you know, I really did just grab my boyfriend's shirt and then tie it up and look at me looking so chic. You know what I mean? Um, so same um, fabric requirements as really any button down shirt, including the last one. They included a few more here, but any crisp um, 
or you know light to medium weight woven with some stability uh will be will be good unfortunately the line drawing is not doing it many favors <laughs> either but i think i can kind of get where they're going so you just need a bunch of buttons for this and then the bust again nine inches of ease there's just no way there's a lot okay but there's not nine you take your ruler right you know what your bust measurement is add nine inches to that and see how much extra fabric that is there's no way even in the um the back view okay oh, there's a lot i still don't believe it's nine but maybe i i'm feeling maybe it might be nine after looking at the back but i don't know it doesn't look like that from the front that's for sure again i don't know if they're like doing those trickery things with photography you know where they're like pinning it in the back so that we can't see um but making it look more fitted than it really is i hate when companies do that i'm like show me how it's really supposed to look let not how not how it looks best like you should have designed it to look that way if it doesn't look its best then you shouldn't be selling it <laughs> i don't know okay so now oh gosh the girls are going crazy over somebody coming home so i apologize that that's very distracting but we must carry on we have butter at 1950s mrs box coat so classic box coat with deep square set square set sleeves <gasps> super cool okay we'll look at that in a second and cuffed patch pockets tapered push-up sleeves button trimmed pockets braid trim version with push-up sleeves straight cuff sleeves Whew. okay a 1950s box coat 10 to 18 and 18 to 26 is it called a box like the same way we call it a boxy top because it's just square but look how cool these sleeves are the sleeves are super freaking cool they're like dolman Ugh, they're like dolman raglan i don't know very 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 interesting i kind of love that i wish i needed coats i don't but very cool and then i think the only difference really is these pockets maybe the length differences yeah i think it's just how the pockets are done is the only difference the sleeves are super cool linen or linen like fabrics jersey synthetic jersey no synthetic coatings wool or worsted wool i feel like these first three should have they they forgot to remove those or something you're definitely not going to make this jacket out of jersey i can promise you that so that's an error um rounded shoulder pads seven buttons 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 okay and then no finished garment measurements that are very helpful well to a degree i think again these are rectangles so you can assume that the hip and the waist are the same as this 50 and a half inches um she's roomy my gosh she's like 18 inches roomy I think just in general with Butterick, you should be considering sizing down one or two um, on every area of your body. Um, maybe, maybe one of them will be fitted, but yes. Well, I don't know, because then that shirt it was too small at the hip. So yeah, with Butterick, you just have to just keep checking for ease. Get the fast fit worksheet that I have on my website linked also in the description box that will help you calculate um sort of the different sizes and which one you would feel best um cutting this is a 1950s dress which we can assume they're wearing underneath those coats uh soft feminine dress with day to evening tendencies <laughs> that's a funny way to say that neckline i have day to evening <laughs> day into evening tendencies as well <laughs> oh gosh neckline is enhanced by an interesting tab closing okay sleeves are cut in one with bodice so grown on button closing extends into the wide inverted center pleat of the skirt okay okay i guess there's a lot of interesting construction going on here so this is the tab that they're talking about okay that's all one piece i like that and then the buttons ex just become the skirt panel i don't know what they mean by all those words that they said but 
they have this turn back cuff thing with a little V, a little grown on uh, collar situation, very 50s. Um, we do have sizes 8 to 22, so right smack dab in the middle of their um, size range. Chambray, crepe, fail, linen, pique, shantung, taffeta. Okay, yeah, all of those kind of like crispy, lightweight wovens. Um, a whole bunch of seam binding buttons and a larger one for the tab and shoulder pads on this guy. And then we have, what is that? One and a half inches of ease in the bust, perfectly appropriate. One and, one and three quarters in the waist, perfectly appropriate. Okay, let me read this one more time. Button closing extends into the wide inverted center pleat of the skirt. Button closing extends into. Yeah, I'm not getting it just from these pictures and illustrations, but maybe whenever you make it, it becomes more clear. All right, next we have vests in four styles, vintage 60s vest or waistcoat in four styles, Sing single breasted lined vest with v-neck, u-necked version with fake pocket flaps, saddle stitch detail, double breasted waist length vest with wide v or u-neck. Okay, waistcoats are having a moment. Um, Lots of people are wearing them. They're not wearing them like this, though. They're much more modern, chic, minimal even. Um, but these are some options if you're wanting to make those. Today's also are not as not as fitted. Definitely fitted, but not as fitted as this. Um, a lot of people are wearing them like where they extend beyond like your pants or your skirt or whatever. And these feel like there's no room to do that. But we do have a bust seam and a waist seam. I wonder what the proportions of the U-neck really are. Those That could be really cool, I think. A lot of people are also wearing the waistcoats um, without anything under them. So consider that as well when you're making this version, or I guess this one too. So checks, corduroy, gabardine plaids, velveteen wool, and flannel. So definitely heavier weight wovens they're recommending, but I think you could also do it out of like summer suiting weight stuff. So think about twill, um, gabardine, oh, they said that already, um, some kind of denim, corduroy, all those things. Three buttons, you're doing your saddle stitch with um, this floss. Four buttons, snaps buttons, snaps buttons. And then we've got five inches of ease in the bust, two and a quarter in the waist, and negative 12 in the hip. That can't be right. There's not, oh, that's still the waist. <laughs> that's not the hip. I was like, I'm so confused. And then I was like, wait, it doesn't even have a waist, or it doesn't even have a hip. So that has to be the waist. Okay, it's the different versions, waists. Yeah, waistcoat for sure is on my to-do list for this fall. So who knows if that will end up in my stash or not. Okay, we have these sleeves for dresses and blouses. Now, I've always been confused by these patterns because, as you know, you can't just slap any old sleeve onto any old bodice. So... I'm confused as to how we're supposed to really use these. It says a set of six sleeves for dresses and blouses, meaning you can just throw the sleeves onto anything, but I don't think you can just do a set in sleeve onto, onto any, like even if the pattern also, the, even if the pattern that you're, okay, okay, what am I trying to say? The, like, let's take this vest, for example. Um... You can't just put that sleeve onto this vest opening, can you? Or like, let's say we were making, um, like you definitely couldn't put it on a drop shoulder, that's for sure. But even like this one, 
Could we take any of those sleeves and just just replace them? I don't think so. I think the sleeve cap and the sleeve head and the opening length and all of that are very different from pattern to pattern. So I never understood those. Um, okay, here's our nightgown with sleeve and length variations. Also kind of retro-y feeling. Um, okay, that's interesting. Extra small to 2X all in one. Nightgowns with front button opening features delicate eyelet lace at the neckline yoke and cuffs. Yeah. I mean, why do they have to lean into the granny of it all with this, like, rose floral print? At least give us something cuter that we'd actually maybe see in the stores today. I can buy that at Goodwill right now. I can go there and find this. Um, this wide bib situation is kind of cool. But, yeah, the fabric should be a little bit more modern. We'll look at the line drawings and see if that helps here in a second. Broadcloth, cotton, cotton blends, and flannel. Um, and then, let's see, buttons, elastic, bias tape, and your eyelet or lace. So lots of notions that really add up, so don't spend a lot of money on your fabric, okay? <laughs> um, and then, like, 20 plus inches of ease in the bust, which is still a lot like you don't need it's will still be plenty oversized if you make it with 10 inches of ease 12 15 if you have to 20 is 20 is a lot a lot a lot okay does this make it look cuter sometimes it does i mean this one feels cuter maybe with the sleeve um I mean, I'm trying to picture it, you know, in like a, a, a cute little ditzy floral or like even a solid. Maybe. Maybe. It's still maybe just like a little too, fr oh, I can't believe I'm about to say this, too frilly, too frilly for me. Maybe. Maybe a little too frilly. Okay, now, oh gosh, what in the world have they done? Mrs. and Women's Lounge Dress Top and Pants. A hoodie dress. Oh man, it's a snuggie, you guys. That's what this what this is a snuggie. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> There's two size ranges: extra small to extra large, and then one X to five X. Semi fitted, right? Okay, semi fitted dress and top have long sleeves with sleeve bands, cowl neck with adjustable drawstring and hem band. Top has side openings, pull on pants with elastic waistband, front pockets, and leg bands. Semi-fitted wear. Then we have the bands, kind of like a little cowl neck, funnel neck, whatever that's called. Drop shoulder. I don't know. Like, it's cute enough, right? Are we really supposed to wear this out? She has freaking heels on. She has like a heeled sandal. of. Uh, uh, that's even weirder. Like... A sweatshirt dress with a open toe heeled sandal. No. They might have been able to convince me with a sneaker, but really I think we're wearing like fuzzy socks with this. This is the one pattern. This is the one. There's one in every bunch. This is the one that literally makes zero sense. The fact that she's faking this smile so... You know what? She's probably just laughing at how ridiculous this is. And that's why it's looking so authentic. What a mess. What is that? The heels are killing me. And they're too small for her feet. I can't. I can't with this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Stretch knits only, such as fleece, French terry, and velour. Fleece isn't even all that stretchy. We should have a bunch of positive ease here. Um, in the bust, it looks like we have a good 12 inches. Remember, they called this semi-fitted, remember? Um, the waist has 13, and the hip has 13 also. Um, 
way too big in the waist for my taste. Some people might, I mean, sometimes I wear like an oversized hoodie and stuff, but that's not what this is. This is not that oversized. It's also not semi-fitted. It's somewhere in the middle. But it doesn't look as big as the ease suggests on her and definitely not on her. On her, it is actually kind of fitted because you can see that she has boobs. What a mess. This That whole thing. I need to just whoop, forget that. I need Men in Black to come and zap that from my memory. Okay, there's our box coat and dress again. Sleeve and vest again. Family again. These might be all the PDF versions of what we've already looked at. And it is. Okay, so what do we think? Remember now, okay, don't, don't look at Butterick and try and make it into Vogue. Or look at Butterick and try and make it into McCall's. It never will be. Butterick is our everyday woman, okay? She's maybe working, you know, a mid-level job or lower in an office. She's probably, like, running some errands. You know, she's a hard-working person. Good, solid, middle-class woman. <laughs> For that woman... How do we think that they did on this collection? I do think that there were, I don't want to call them standouts, but there were things that I would actually consider buying. One of them is this. I would consider that something unique and different I don't see all the time. And that was it. Yeah. I do like the square um, sleeve on this, but I it's, it's a coat and I don't need a coat. So... That's the only reason why I wouldn't buy that. If I lived somewhere where I needed a coat, I would have that in my basket in two seconds. So that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back very soon with another first impression video. I need to get caught up on all of the winter and holiday ones. So I'll be doing that in the next few weeks. But um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.